praise the Lord. Greetings to Quitman, all our friends, brothers and sisters in UK. May God bless you. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Kingsley. I'm in my hotel in Karachi. I've had an amazingly long journey to get here. Wonderful journey. Started off in Manchester yesterday, flew to Dubai, and then straight on here to Karachi. I'm in my hotel now, but I went straight to the home of Muslim John and had a, a little bit of a rest there, just quiet for about an hour before I went to start my first conference. So I've been there all day for several hours, spoke twice, and had a wonderful time with leaders from between 25 to 30 churches some of them actually from some big denominations the main guy in the Methodist Church was here he's got a large number of churches he's in charge of one of the guys and high up in the Presbyterian Church was there and so it was a wonderful time to have them all together and to share the Word of God with them God really moved and I was very excited to see people respond to the word so thank God for that I'm finished now for the day just relaxing to start uh, get myself ready for church tomorrow so thank you for your prayers again God has been so faithful. I've met wonderful people since I've been here. This is Pakistan. It's not a terrorist country. It's a country where people will turn to Jesus. And that's the picture I want you to see of it today. <laughs> So I'd like you to give a wave to the camera. Thank you. Okay, God bless you. It's a privilege to be here today. It's a privilege to have our, I won't call them elder ministers, but more mature ministers here. And I know that you represent many churches across Karachi. So thank you for coming today. It's my privilege to be in your presence. God spoke to me many years ago. I was working as a pastor in the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, England, England. I was also traveling quite often to Africa. And one day God spoke to me in my office at home. I was very busy. Just as you are. And I will say to the Lord, I don't know if God spoke to me through the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 14. It's where God spoke to the two and a half tribes. I'm not preaching on it this morning. But God was speaking to me. 
इस बाबत कलाम कर रहा था आस्क मी टू गो अक्रॉस द जॉर्डन खुदा ने मुझसे कहा कि तू यर्दन के पार जा help my brothers possess their land aur mere bhaiyon ki madad karke wo sarzameen par kamiz ho jaye and then to go home again aur phir wapas ghar chale people often ask me what is my vision when i travel aur bahut log mujhse ye sawal puchte hain ki mera meri roya kya hai jab main safar karta hu what is my vision for africa aur africa ke liye meri roya kya hai or what is my vision for Pakistan. Ab Pakistan ke liye meri roya kya hai? And the truth is I don't have a vision for it. Aur main aapko bataun ki mere paas iski koi khaas roya nahi. Because God didn't give me a vision for it. Kyunki Khuda ne mujhe iske liye roya di hi nahi. He told me to help those who already have a vision for it. Khuda ne to mujhe ye kaha tha ki jinke paas roya maujood hai tu ja kar unki roya mein madad kar. To help my brothers possess their land. Ja kar mere bhaiyon ki madad kar taaki wo and so when I travel aur isliye jab main ab safar karta hu the most important people are the people who live there. To mere liye sabse khaas log wo hain जो उस मुल्क में रिहाइश पसीर है सो इन पाकिस्तान यू आर फार मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैट आई कुड एवर बी और फिर पाकिस्तान में आप सबसे ज्यादा अहम लोग हैं उससे भी ज्यादा अहम मैं नहीं हो सकता एंड दैट्स द वे इट शुड बी और इसी तरह काम होना चाहिए आई हैव कम टू यू एज अ सर्वेंट फॉर दिस फ्यू डेज और मैं इन चंद दिनों में आपका खादिम बनकर आया हूं recognizing that you are born in pakistan is baat ko kabool karte hue ke aap pakistan mein paida hue you live in pakistan aap pakistan mein rehte hain and pakistan is your nation aur pakistan aapka mulk hai the bible says that the heavens belong to the lord aur bible muqaddas farmati hai ke aasman khuda ka hai but the earth he has given to man lekin zameen god has given pakistan to you aur isliye khuda ne pakistan aapko sompa hai so if i want to know who owns pakistan aur agar main ye janna chahu ki pakistan kiska hai today i am looking at the owners to aaj jin logon par meri nigah hai wo pakistan ke malik hai i don't need to go any higher mujhe isse badhkar kisi jagah jaane ki zarurat nahi Pakistan belongs to you. Pakistan aapka hai. Great.